The Jets got back to work after their first off day of camp, and it wasn't a good day for either side of the ball. Did a decent job and moved the ball, period. I thought defense came back in two-minute period. I think both units overall were sluggish. Just the command of the offense and getting back with the chemistry of the guys and getting everybody on the same page. So, you know, that's going to take a little while, but they're making some progress. It's important for us to remember that we can't, we can't waste any days, you know, and we did some good things today, but we did more bad than good today. And so we've got to be able to learn from it, but we, we've got to continue to be trending upward. On a day the offense struggled, Ryan Fitzpatrick showed why his teammates wanted him back. He pulled aside the receivers after practice and reminded them that every practice is critical. His leadership is amazing. Even like today, that's you know that's where you grow. Where it was a tough day for us, and I, when I say tough, it was just wasn't perfect. Um, going against a great defense, and for him to come and gather us up and and just say, "Listen, guys, this was a successful day for us." Um, that's where you know. You, you gain your respect for your quarterback uh, when he's able to rally the troop, galvanize the troop, and say, look, stay together, it's okay. We strive to be perfect every day, but we're not going to be. Um, you know, but it's, it's important to look at a practice like this where uh, maybe more things, like I said earlier, more things maybe were bad than good and get through to the root of it and not make it a habit. The offense did get some encouraging news on Tuesday. Running back Matt Forte was in pads taking part in positional drills for the first time. Coach Todd Bowles said that they will ease him back in while his hamstring continues to get stronger. With the Jets, Janae Coakley, SNY.